Hey guys, Troy here with Seller.Tools and excited in today's video to share with you the latest release in the Seller.Tools platform. And that's the ability for you to leverage webhooks. Now, if you're not familiar with webhooks or utilizing Zapier, effectively what it allows you to do is more easily capture and send data and information. So when you are creating those systems, those processes in your business and aiming to achieve that coveted automation, uh, webhooks are a really great and effective way to do that. And so in this quick example, this video, uh, on only about five or 10 minutes, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to set these up and really address a pain point that many of us have as Amazon sellers. We understand the Amazon volatility, but we do things like setting up zero alerts or, or really pointing at anything we're doing to mitigate and hedge against that very real volatility that we all know uh, all too well. So with that, let me jump into an example I've got in my seller.tools account. For my webhooks example, I'm actually looking at a swivel hooks product here. And first things first, we're gonna view the alerts that have been configured for this ASIN in particular. And one thing you'll notice is I've got a little bit of work to do. There's nothing going on here, nothing really safeguarding this ASIN. So for my webhook example, I've got a specific alert in mind. Of course, there is a slew of alerts to safeguard every ASIN uh, under your brand. Uh, reviewable as an example, as soon as that product becomes uh, review and eligible, I want to be informed right away, of course. Uh, but for example purposes, I'm going to go ahead and pick title. If my product title has changed. I'll go ahead and set the alert for that. Click continue. Now we have our tried and true ways of being informed and alerted uh, of this change taking place, this alert being triggered. So we have in-app alert here in seller.tools, email notification, Facebook Messenger notification, and you'll notice the addition of the Seller.Tools API. So if I select that, I need to add a destination. So if I go ahead and click Add Destination, you'll notice this new open field that I need to input some values. So what I'm gonna do is jump over to Zapier and make a zap. First thing I need to do in Zapier is identify the app, which is effectively webhooks. We're gonna catch a hook so go ahead and click that, click save and continue. And then you'll notice we get this brand new webhook URL. And what I wanna do is copy that, bring it over into seller.tools and validate that URL. And then we can go ahead and click done or save that. And now it's good to go in seller.tools. I have the alert criteria, title has changed. I'm utilizing the seller tools API and the destination I provided is that webhook URL. So in Zapier, I need to let Zapier know I've completed this step. I've validated the URL and letting them know, okay, okay, I've done this. So I'll go ahead and click, okay, I did this. We see the hook that we configured. I'm gonna go ahead and click this drop down because one of the things that you want to check is this message of success is confirming that validation. My test has been good to go. We might change the language on this to further clarify, but it's very intuitive, same objective. It's just letting us know that our test is successful and we are good to go. So I'll go ahead and click continue. And effectively, our trigger is set up. So we need to create a next step, which is gonna be an action here in Zapier. Now, this is where you can get really creative. What resources are you are utilizing where if that criteria is met, that alert is triggered, how do you want you or your team to be informed right away? My title has changed. I want the person who's in charge of that title, who has that title saved elsewhere, who can easily upload it, get in touch with seller support. What's the easiest way to contact them? And really uh, think about what makes the most sense for you. Is that a Slack notification right in the channel, right to that specific person? Is that in your favorite task or project management tool or platform? For us, that's gonna be the case. And I'm gonna walk you through Asana is what we use as a team, but whether that's Trello, um, again, Asana, if that's what you use as, as we do as a team. So I'm gonna walk you through just, just how easy this is to configure. Because once that alert is triggered, what I want is a task to the appropriate member on our team that owns that piece of information. Now our account is synced, our Asana account, so you can see how that looks here. But if this is the first time you configure it, you're gonna to wanna to connect an account and then it will display as such here. I'll go ahead and click save and continue. And now what Zapier wants us to do is map out what are we sending through or passing through to Asana. Now, the only thing that is required for this specific case is workspace and organization. Again, this is unique to Asana, but this is high level. It's usually your brand or company name as a work workspace and organization. And then all of the other fields that you map up, as you'll notice, are optional. So again, if you use Trello, it's gonna ask really the same type 
of information. Now, I'm not gonna click these drop downs because we actually use Asana, it's all of our information, um, but you can get an idea of how you can configure this because you would select your workspace organization, and then I'm gonna give you some takeaways of how I would utilize this and how you can in your business as well. So what I want is the assignee right here as an optional field to go to the person that owns the specific alert type. So again, title, who, who owns the product title, listing optimization, who had, you know, on the Google Drive that, that our team has that owns it on a doc or a sheet, who owns that piece of information? Because I want that alert and this task to go to that specific assignee. And then the next thing I want to think about is how do I make it easier for them to act? So you're thinking about people and you're thinking about process once this alert is triggered. And so in the notes, I would drop that Google Drive link and directly to that sheet. So as soon as they get that notification, you could also drop in here a link to seller support so they know where to go and what to do as soon as that alert is triggered. This is a far cry from what we're used to of waiting uh, hours and hours, days and days to correct these major issues that cost us a lot of money and time in sales. But this is uh, such an immediate alerts triggered the right person with the right process is empowered to make, take the next steps. And I would really leave it as simple as that. And once you complete those fields, again, keep in mind all of the other fields in this case for Asana is optional, that you think about people, process, and of course your required field. And then once you do that, you click continue and effectively the trigger and action is set. And we are leveraging webhooks in a really cool and efficient way. That quick five minutes now has safeguarded our title and empowered our team and empowered our process to really automate key facets of our business. We're hedging against that volatility, pointing at what we're doing and not risking our business, risking our products at scale. So with that guys, hopefully you see the power of webhooks. Wherever you find this content, please leave me comments, feedback, questions. I'd love to see that from you. And with that, I think I will leave it there. So with that guys, take care.